Okay guys, so this is the second of my coronavirus video shoots and uh, basically what I'm doing is in enforced lockdown I'm shooting things I have in my home and maintaining my interest in my photography and also experimenting a little bit with light and achieving what I want to achieve to try to do something a bit more interesting than just a snapshot of something I have so the idea today is that I would use Maltese bread a very brown and uh, rich colored uh, loaf of bread and I'm going to use hessian sacking as the background now today the lighting is a little bit different but we'll talk about that later so I hope you enjoy this behind the scenes guy so, you know please like and share and um, and subscribe if it suits you I'm going to put this on YouTube and it's going to be linked to on my Facebook page so here it is let's go over to the studio guys and let's have a look at what we're doing okay guys today we're gonna to have a look at another shot you know what my studio is like you can see it here and it's a very <laughs> worked in studio it's a bit messy more than I would like ideally I would like a big warehouse with a huge amount of space but I don't have it so what we're going to do today we're going to use a sacking and hessian why do I want to use that I want to use it because of the coloring so today we're going to shoot bread and bread rolls and we're going to have the knife and we're going to try a little bit of a different lighting so at the moment guys you see there's no studio setting so we're going to set that up we're going to bring some cloth in we're going to bring a bit of a backdrop in and then we're going to start setting up the lights and hopefully you guys will enjoy this as much as the other one i'm going to put the hessian sacking on the table and uh it's just a lump of material no problem but we need some height in it we're not using the octa box so we find a box and that gives us some height just arrange it cutting board to the right and the bread basket at an angle the long rolls panini and the round rolls and now the Maltese bread now we need the knife in it but unfortunately looking through the camera the backdrop isn't wide enough so we use a it's actually a mop to give us width and uh, extend the backdrop a bit it's about problem solving guys so now it's wide enough we can start checking the lighting lighting in place adjusted and now what we're doing is setting up the camera and bringing the fill in light it's going to be a spotlight which puts a circle of light around the bread once we're happy with this we're going to put the knife in place and um, there it goes in, uh, in the front in the corner but I wasn't happy with the composition so I moved it onto the cutting board now we have to lift the edge slightly put it at an angle so we get some reflection along the blade of the knife we don't want it blasting back but we do want some shine across it a little bit more adjustment and 
and I'm still not happy with how it shines and, and the positioning of it. So I've decided that what we will do is we'll cut the bread. We'll cut the bread and then move the knife. So here we go. Big sharp knife, cutting the bread. And now we've propped the knife further back. And for me, it makes a better composition. So we'll have a look at it, test shot. And uh, I'm still not happy with the bread. I turn the slice down. Now I prefer this. So we have the test shot and we're ready to fine tune everything. So that's the setup guys. So what we've done guys, this shoot is about Maltese bread. Maltese bread is gorgeous. It really is. Um, is it healthy? I don't know. I don't care. It's just gorgeous. So you can see on the back of the camera where we have the um, composition we've set up and we've sliced the bread. Now, now guys, this shot is on Hessian sacking. And the reason is that we've put it on sacking is because we want the tonal ranges, the browns, and we don't want any other colours in the shot. So it's a very muted colour palette. Now here you can see we have the strip box which is giving a broad light across the top just a little bit of pick up on the top of the bread and across the board here and it will give it texture and of course texture across the background. You can see the octobox in the background and you can see the cable. We're not using it so it doesn't matter. I don't need to move it. This is no background. The shot is a really tight shot, so we've not worried about it. Here, you can see the uh, the strip box sorry, is uh, a bit drunk. It's fallen over. Well, it hasn't. I've moved it that way. Because I want a broad light coming across to catch all the way across the top of this bread. So that's, that's the reason this is on its side. If you have a strip box, guys, you don't have to have it upright all the time. You can bend it, you can move it, you can angle it where you want the most light. So it's important about looking at your light and about making sure your light hits where you want it. Now here, on this particular light here, normally we have a big soft box. Um, 40 inch, 20 inch, I don't know. but. Um, here because we want a, an angle just a spotlight of light in we've put this honeycomb grid on the modifier and I think it's 32 degrees something like that which will give us a spotlight effect and bang some light in the middle and it should be very pleasing now here guys I'm going to use Photoshop and I'm going to use Photoshop because to flag off all the edges it's too much work um, it's easier for me just to burn down the edges where I want. So this is our situation, um, our setting. Well, we're shooting at ISO 64, F22, 200th of a second. Does that matter? No. It doesn't matter because you adjust the lights individually. You can set it to however you want and however powerful your lights are. So bear with me guys, let's take a couple of pictures. So we've got everything set up, we've got all the lights set up. It's just a question of pressing the shutter. Guys, it's simple. Look at where your light is, have a look, look on the back of your camera. If it works out on your camera, you're good to go. Focus. Perfect guys. All I've got to do for this is just burn around the edges where we have a bit of light spill. Apart from that, shots are good and we've done it. How easy. How easy is it? And this really guys is what I'm saying. If you're going to do your coronas virus shoots and you're going to do them indoors, take your time, get it right, get everything right. 
minimal Photoshop, just a bit of vignetting, bang, we're ready. Lovely, lovely shot. So here we are guys, um, we're back in, uh, in the computer and you've seen what we do. Sometimes you look at it and say, well, the lighting might be a bit unconventional, but we're doing a job. It's a small studio. Um, the fact is that a lot of these lights could be flagged off so that the light only falls where I want it. But this is quite a big job for a complicated small tabletop shoot. So what I do is I let the light spill, minimize it, of course, but we do the rest in Photoshop. So we add a bit of a vignette, we burn down the edges and we concentrate the light as we saw it and as it really was pretty much on the back of the camera. So let's look at the final image. This is, uh, this is the image and this is where we where we've gone with it. What we've done is with the left hand edge as you're looking at it, we've burnt down. Um, the rest of it is just exposure control and sharpening. So pretty much as short. Now listen guys, you can say, well, you've got a lot of equipment, you've got a lot of uh, stuff to, to do, you have your own space. You can do this in front of a window. You can, uh, you can mask it off, you can put uh, things in the way to stop the light falling. You can open curtains, you can put a reflector in. So will it be exactly the same as me? No, because what I'm doing is extremely controllable. But you can achieve it. So if I can do it, you can do it, guys. It's easy enough to do. Just pay attention to the light. Pay attention to where it's falling. Look at the little nuances of light. Where is that? Just that little extra bit of light which lifts the picture slightly. And uh, remember, age is no barrier. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So it might take you a little bit longer. You might have to plan a bit more. You might have to um, use, your, use your brains to get through it and work out the best way of achieving this. But give it a go, guys. You know, we're all in lockdown and we need to, we need to increase our skills. We need to look at what we're doing and we need to keep ourselves active. So I hope this gives you some ideas and it gives you some ideas about lighting. And uh, maybe when dark times are better, we can get together, guys, and you can see firsthand. So take care, look after yourself, stay out of this virus's way. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.